All right, so welcome to Pokemon Heart Gold Ultimate Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, I am showing you how uh, I randomized the ROM that we're going to be playing on uh, for this series. Basically, one Ultimate uh, Randomizer Nuzlocke is, as you can see on the screen, I'm making every single thing random. So, uh, random abilities, random base uh, statistics, uh, obviously random starter Pokemon, random Pokemon types. Uh, move sets. Uh, also, when you reach uh, trainers Pokemon, uh, always check uh, no early Wonder Guard because you can get you can get messed up if you're doing like a Nuzlocke and stuff, and you don't have a Pokemon to take out a Shedinja or a Pokemon that has Wonder Guard. So definitely do that. And uh, when it comes to wild Pokemon, obviously you put them as random. You know you don't want anything like scripted or whatnot if you're doing this type of thing. I do encourage you all to actually, you know, like play along with me maybe and uh, get like a Heart Gold ROM or any other kind of Pokemon game and randomize it to the extreme. Like, randomize absolutely everything. Like, here we're randomizing static Pokemon, which is like legendaries and stuff like that. Then we're randomizing TMs and HMs uh, and their compatibility. So, if you find a HM or no, if you find a TM, uh, like in, in the wild, it can be any TM in the game, so it can be Dragon Claw, like Flamethrower, Facade, you know, all that kind of thing. And the TM compatibility also, uh, you know, anything can learn anything basically. Or like a water type couldn't learn a water type move, uh, essentially. And everything else is randomised, uh, like field items, in-game trades, and move tutors. And once you're finished, you just save the ROM, and that is you. We're saving it right now. I also randomised the... Uh, all trainers like nicknames and IVs and stuff. So yeah, there we go. Hello everyone and welcome to our brand new series on the channel. This is Pokemon Heart Gold, our ultimate randomizer nuzlocke. Now I will go through and explain what an ultimate randomizer nuzlocke is as we go through, you know, the whole opening sequence with our good old buddy Professor Oak. So as you saw, uh, when I was doing the whole, you know, what is a randomizer and all that jazz, um, you saw what I randomized in inside this ROM we're playing on right now. And I randomized everything. Like abilities, movesets, base stats, and all that jazz. So that is what I ran an ultimate Nuzlocke is. Is every single thing is randomized. So we could get like our starter could be anything from like a Marl or to I don't know. A ho -oh, but the ho -oh could be like, I don't know, a normal type. <laughs> and have like the ability like overgrow. You know, it's it's just crazy stuff like that. Like, I thought this would just be really, really fun to do. And just really fun to see what the outcome would be. Like, facing up against gym leaders and all that, just to see what, like... Because we won't know, like, what, like, abilities or even their typings, uh... Uh, will be like we will have no idea so I think it will be a really big challenge and also just extremely awesome uh, just to do so here we are we're heading into the Kanto region 
Uh, actually, Heart Gold and Soul Silver were actually the games that got me back into playing Pokemon. So I did do um, Heart Gold uh, on the channel before, but I'd never finished it. Um, I I don't know. I was doing a Nuzlocke of it. I just kind of got. I wasn't really interested in it. I wanted to do other things, but with this, it's not like I'm playing like the like the uh, a scripted game. It is literally completely and utterly random. Now, if I can figure out what button is my bag, there we go. <laughs> I'm using a controller for like one of the first times here. Uh, let's pick a nice frame. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, I'm actually using a controller. So I'm not really used to using a controller. I'm used to using, you know, like, just a keyboard. So in comes Lyra with her little Marl. I hate Lyra. Like, I hate all female, ca all female like, not a rival. Lyra's not a rival. She's more of just, she's just there, really. See, see, is, eh, speak, man. Come on, this is your first episode. You need to be professional. You need to be calm, collected, and composed, man. Just focus on your words. Okay, got it. Good. Anyway, we are in New Bark Town. We have to go into the Professor Elm's lab. Don't know who that snidey, sneaky guy up there is, but I guess we'll find out later who he is. <clears throat> Let's talk to this guy. Huh? Me? I'm not the professor. He's back. He's at the back of the room. That is true, sir. That is true. There he is, Mr. Professor himself. Hi, GCB. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? Uh, no. I just kind of just got here. I kind of just got out of bed. Ah, uh, yeah. As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeballs invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. Yeah, that's true. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. Oh, get a phone call. Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm, uh-huh, okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and r raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that saying that this time is, is it's real. What? What's real? It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go it in our place, right? We can count on you. You can choose from one of the Pokemon over there. Right, this is where you guys come in. You guys have to choose the starter. Oh my god, I'm, this is going to be absolutely hilarious. Okay, let's see what our choices are. Whew. So normally, in Heart Gold and Silver, you'd be able to choose from Syndicale the Fire type, Totodile the Water type, and Chikorita the Grass type. But, since this is a randomizer, or an ultimate randomizer for that matter, we are going to have a random Pokemon from 1st through 4th gen with any random base stats, with any random ability, and yeah. So let's see what we can choose from. First, we have Skiploom, the dark type Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god. A, a dark type Skiploom, really? Right, next we have... Oh, what? That is so... What? <laughs> that is so opposite. That's actually pretty cool. An Electivire, the water type Pokemon. And finally, a Mothim, the electric type Pokemon. So there are your choices. You can either choose from Mothim, the electric type, Electivire, the water type, and or Skiploom, the dark type. So I will leave it all down to you guys for to choosing the starter, and I will see you all in the next episode. Hope you all enjoyed, and peace!